What is the bond angle in H2O? Well, first, let's agree that this is the Lewis structure of H2O. And then around the oxygen, we have one, two pairs of bonding electrons and one, two pairs of lone electrons or lone pairs of electrons. That's four different things that are around the oxygen. So those four things are generally going to arrange themselves tetrahedrally. That's because tetrahedral is the farthest apart that four things can get in three dimensions. Tetrahedral is kind of like if you took trigonal planar and added a fourth thing on top to kind of point them downwards. Now, the only problem is that two of those things, one, two, happen to be lone pairs, which take up space like energetically, but there's nothing actually there except the possibility of electrons, which means water itself has some kind of bond angle that you can only measure between the two hydrogens. Now, tetrahedral arrangements are generally 109.5 degrees. And what I tell my high school students is that in that first row, well, I guess it's the second row of the periodic table, but like carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, when those are the central atoms and you add lone pairs in there, you should take away two to three degrees for each of the lone pairs from this number, I should say. The reason is that the lone pairs take up slightly more room than the bonding pairs. They repel just a bit extra. And so the more lone pairs you have, the closer these are going to get pushed together. So that's a rule that I picked up from uh, International Baccalaureate Chemistry like a decade ago. It's generally served me well. So I'm going to take, oh, okay, that marker died in front of us. I'm going to take away about two and a half for that first lone pair and then another two and a half for the second lone pair, which leads me to 104.5 degrees. Generally, when a teacher is asking you for the bond angle of water, they'll accept anything from like 103 up to 107, just not 109.5 exactly. If you look it up, this actually happens to be the real bond angle in water, 104.5. But again, I'm just using a rule of thumb and it happens to give me the right answer here. Just take away two to three degrees for each of the lone pairs there. You'll get an answer that's similar to what you have. Just to emphasize that I'm not just making this up. If I had to do this for NH3, I draw my Lewis structure that's four things around my N, one, two, three, four. And I guess that it's 109.5, but I'd subtract two and a half degrees because there's one lone pair on the N. I would guess that the bond angle is 107. Just throwing it out there. The bond angle for H2O is 104.5, whether you look it up or whether you do it with my method. Thanks for being with me and best of luck.